I'm Tisha Bader with Shalom TV's news update for Thursday, June the 12th, 2014. Israel's Air Force conducted a targeted airstrike last night in the Gaza Strip against a Hamas terrorist who was responsible for recent rocket fire into Israel. A rocket had been fired just yesterday morning into southern Israel. It landed near a main road causing damage but no injury. The IDF said the terrorist killed in the airstrike last night, 33-year-old Mahmoud Awar, was associated with Global Jihad and participated in the launching of rockets into Israel and planned more rocket attacks and terror attacks against the country. The IDF said the preemptive strike was intended to prevent Awar from executing further attacks he had planned against Israel. Following the airstrike, Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas accused Israel of escalating violence in the region. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he wanted to remind the international community that Abbas had promised that the new unity government between factions Fatah and Hamas would uphold previous agreements with Israel and that it was up to Abbas to dismantle Hamas and other terror groups. The U.S. State Department had condemned the rocket fire into Israel yesterday, saying that Hamas was responsible for the attack. And we expect uh, the Palestinian Authority will do everything in its power to prevent attacks into Gaza, from Gaza into Israel, uh, but we acknowledge uh, the reality that Hamas currently controls uh, Gaza. Well. The Jerusalem Post reports that 88 U.S. senators from both sides of the aisle have signed and sent a letter to U.S. President Barack Obama expressing their, quote, grave concern about the new Palestinian unity government. The letter was written by Democratic Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland and Republican Senator Susan Collins of Maine and expresses concern that the new government, backed by terror group Hamas, might, quote, jeopardize direct negotiations with Israel to achieve a two-state solution. It also addresses the issue of future U.S. aid for the Palestinians, writing any assistance should only be provided when we have confidence that this new government is in full compliance with the restrictions contained in current law. The American Israel Public Affairs Committee helped circulate the letter, echoing concern that the new Palestinian government backed by terror group Hamas is a, quote, serious blow to peace efforts. Jewish leaders from the U.S. and Europe are meeting this week with security leaders, both local and international, as part of a summit on the security of the Jewish community. The second annual Secure Communities Network, or SCN's Security Leadership Summit, began yesterday in New York City. SCN is the National Homeland Security Initiative of the Jewish Federations of North America, and the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations. This week's summit follows several fatal attacks this year targeting the Jewish community, including the shootings in April at the JCC in Kansas, and most recently the shootings at the Jewish Museum in Brussels. Participants at the summit include NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton, former Department of Homeland Security Principal Deputy for Counterterrorism John Cohen, U.S. State Department Special Envoy to Monitor and Combat Anti-Semitism Ira Foreman, as well as the heads of security for both Brussels and the Netherlands, officials from Ukraine and others, who for the first time are taking a global view on security for the Jewish community. CEO of the Jewish Federations of North America, Jerry Silverman, said even with the best technology in the world, we cannot properly protect our communities without high-level collaboration and cooperation. Silverman praised SCN and its partnerships, which he said would make it possible to confront the challenge the Jewish community faced head on. National Director of the Anti-Defamation League, Abraham Foxman, received the 2014 Menachem Begin Prize. Foxman was presented the award by Israel's Deputy Foreign Minister, Tzachi Hanegbi, at the Menachem Begin Heritage Center in Jerusalem last night. Foxman was recognized for his efforts to work towards, quote, eradicating all signs of anti-Semitism, racism, and anti-Israelism around the globe. The Begin Prize is awarded annually to an individual or organization in recognition of special activities on behalf of the people of Israel and their homeland. And the Begin Heritage Center's director, Herzl Makov, praised Foxman for being 
at the front lines of defending the state of Israel for the past 50 years. And turning to our Shalom TV programming for tonight, Thursday, June the 12th, coming up after the news, Mark S. Golub talks to Fiddler on the Roof lyricist Sheldon Harnick and many others with Folks Bina Conversations, celebrating the upcoming 100th anniversary of the National Yiddish Theater Folks Bina and the 50th anniversary of Fiddler on the Roof's Broadway premiere. And later tonight on L'Chaim at 9, Mark is joined by Hasidic Rabbi Dr. Abraham Tversky of the Chernobyl Hasidic Dynasty, who is a psychiatrist and author of over 60 books, where he talks about his life's work and his perspectives on the Jewish tradition. That's tonight here on Shalom TV and ShalomTV.com. And that's Shalom TV's news update for Thursday, June the 12th, 2014. I'm Tisha Bader.